Visual Staff Scheduler Shift Scheduling Software calculates scheduling data automatically for you. For each day, you can display the number of people or hours scheduled by position, shift, and explanation, such as department, location, or job. And you can see if you are under or over scheduled. The Coverage Totals feature allows you to effortlessly calculate scheduling data. For example, you can calculate the number of personnel working specific shifts, calculate the number of staff who have been scheduled time off, calculate the number of training hours, calculate the number of employees with a particular skill that have been scheduled to work, and calculate the difference from what is required and what is actually scheduled. The coverage total feature goes through each day in the schedule and counts the number of matches to the specific criteria that you define. This information is displayed in an easy to use table at the bottom of the schedule worksheet. From the Define menu, select Coverage Totals. You can define your own unique coverage totals as well as edit existing ones. Click the New button or select Undefined to define a new coverage total or select an existing query and click the Edit button. Let's take a look at this existing coverage total that shows the number of staff who are scheduled to work on the day shift. The Names tab is used to designate which names should be included in the coverage total. By default, all names are included in the query. Deselect the option Ignore Name Checking to handpick individual names from the list, or select Check by Position option to include a group of employees based on position, such as RNs. Use this tab to designate the skills or certifications that should be included in the coverage total. To select a particular skill or skill set, click the Edit button and make your selection. Select which explanations, if any, should be included in the coverage total. Select which shifts, if any, should be included in the coverage total. If multiple shifts need to be selected, press the control key on your keyboard and make your selection. Select which requirement rows, if any, should be included in the coverage total. For this particular query, the selection in the Variance tab is not needed, since comparison to staffing requirements doesn't apply to this query. You can set the coverage total color that appears on the screen, schedules, and reports. You can rearrange the order of the coverage totals displayed in the worksheet. Select the coverage total you would like to move, then click the Move Up and Move Down buttons until the row is displayed in the order you want. Enter the number of coverage totals you want to display. The coverage totals are displayed at the bottom of the scheduling worksheet. You can, can display up to 30 different coverage totals for each scheduling view. Let's create a new coverage total. We'll calculate how many employees are scheduled to work that have a particular skill, such as speaking Select the skill. In this case, we want to choose people who can speak Spanish. Next, we'll select the shifts. In this instance, we'll choose the day shift. Let's create another coverage total. We'll calculate how many of your staff will be assigned to a particular task or location, such as all employees who are training. Select the explanations that should be included in this coverage total. If multiple explanations need to be selected, press the control key on your keyboard to make those selections. We'll choose both educational and training for this coverage total. Let's create one more coverage total. You can use coverage totals to calculate staffing variances to see if you are under or over scheduled for a particular shift, position, or location. A great example would be coverage for RNs who are working on the night shift. Deselect the option Ignore Name Checking and select Check by Position option to include a group of employees based on position. In this case, RNs. Select the shift for the coverage total. 
In this example, we want to see the night shift. In the Variance tab, select Requirement Row. Choose the appropriate operation, such as Variance C minus R, which, which calculates the difference between what is the actual coverage and what is required, as indicated in the Requirement Row. Requirement Row values and coverage totals can be added, subtracted, multiplied, or, or divided, and used to calculate percentages. The coverage total results are displayed at the bottom of the schedule. Staffing variance results are displayed as negative numbers to indicate staff shortages, positive numbers to indicate staff excess, and no number to indicate that the actual coverage meets exactly the staffing requirement. You can also view, view shift coverage by time increments. Choose hourly coverage from the view menu to display the hourly coverage window. With Visual Staff Scheduler, you will know instantly how many employees you have working a specific shift or location. You can also set staffing threshold levels to immediately assess staffing overages and shortfalls.